Welcome to another Goshawk Engineering video. Today I'm walking you through a starter motor rebuild. Quite a common issue with the 2025 and all small horsepower models. Uh, mainly because this clutch assembly here tends to get covered in oil. And what you'll find is something like this. This is actually a Ferrodo disc. So do be careful when you take these apart because they may contain asbestos. But what happens is they get embedded in oil and when the three of them are on this assembly here, they slip and they don't catch each other. This causes the Bendix drive um, to basically stay in the same position so it doesn't kick in. And it can cause tremendous issues and means your starter motor won't work. So the only way to get about it is to rebuild the unit. It's fairly straightforward. These parts are £20, uh, but it's worth noting before you do this um, that there's a few parts you might need to replace as well. On my car, I've had to replace this um, cassette cover. What you'll see here is these top joints have been modified and actually one of them's been silver soldered back on because it's failed. So what you'll have to do is buy the replacement cassette cover. All known suppliers store these. Um, they're about £140, but it's definitely worth replacing. So what you have to do to... to rebuild this is strip the unit and first of all I'd recommend taking the end cover off the starter here, cleaning the brushes and scraping out the gaps uh, in the commutator ring as well. So the parts you'll need obviously cassette cover, driving dog gear, replacement fibre washer, your Bendix drive unit here which you can see has this uh, knurled effect, spring quite important to replace and, and then you have the actual engagement spring there that ha also has a circlip in the top. Normally this is okay. Some people re recommend replacing the spring in there. I'd recommend taking it to a specialist just to make sure yours is okay. You'll need your clutch holder. Uh, this is the lock ring at the back and it also has a bearing on it. Make sure that's okay. Spacers, fibre washer. This here helps to guide these arms into the top of this and, th and this is the cover that goes on here at the end. Sir clip again, locking ring and lock nut. Also worth checking this spring here. It should be fairly floppy and it mounts onto the driving shaft of the motor and the arrangement attaches onto here and this is what's going to spring and help your uh, Bendix arrangement actually engage into the uh, into the starter ring gear. So all you have to do is put this together, which I'll do now. Uh, I'll show you the assembled unit, because uh, it's actually easier to do that <laughs> because this job is actually quite fiddly. But if you have this layout as I have here, put everything together, assemble, uh, and then I'll show you the testing later. <laughs> 